Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician here, and I've got a quick take on Reason 9.2. So, Propeller Head Software just released the newest update to Reason 9. It's version 0.2, I guess, 9.2. Um, and it adds some new features on the back end. And this is going to allow developers of rack extensions to make more advanced newer types of rack extensions with additional features, um, more power, more flexibility. Um, and on one hand, this is a great thing. Let me tell you why. First of all, who doesn't like better rack extensions? Uh, that means moving forward, hopefully we'll see some new and exciting types of rack extensions with new functionality. Um, but here's where my big criticism of Reason 9.2 comes into play. First, um, there's no guarantee that any of the existing rack extensions are going to be upgraded to take advantage of these new features. It looks like a few companies have already started to do this. Um, so hopefully many more will and we'll get enhanced functionality for all of the rack extensions that we've already purchased. Uh, but it might be the case that really if you're not going to buy anything else in Reason, this new update doesn't give you any advantages, which kind of, I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but it's not a great thing either, especially when there are several major issues with Reason, or minor issues, I should say. There are quite a few minor issues with Reason that I would really like to see improved. You can look at the videos I've got up here somewhere. There's links um, to what I think is wrong with Reason and needs improving. But the second big problem with Reason 9.2 um, to me, and this is actually a big issue, is that it's now going to bifurcate the Reason Rack extension community because there's going to be all these rack extensions for people between Reason 7.1 and Reason 8 that bought rack extensions um, but that will no longer be able to play new rack extensions developed after version 9.2. So Re Reason users with version 9 of Reason are going to have access to this whole new class of rack extensions which may not be backward compatible for users of Reason 7 and users of Reason 8. And we don't know if developers are only going to start developing now for this new version, if it's going to be easy for them to develop for both versions, or what. So we don't know if the Reason community is going to be split in half between what rack extensions they're going to have access to. Uh, this is sort of similar to the whole issue that even came up with Reason 7 when they first introduced rack extensions. Um, and so it sort of feels like they're trying to force people to upgrade to Reason 9 so that they can get access to this new set of functionalities and maybe this new generation of Rack extensions, which might not be developed for um, the previous owners. So this is definitely a concern I have. My main reaction to Reason 9.2 is I can't hurt, but we're going to have to wait and see really how the developers of Rack extensions deal with it. Um, I was also somewhat disappointed that it wasn't rolled out with more upgrades to existing rack extensions. But um, I hope that it turns out well. Uh, in the decade or so that I've used Propellerhead software, they've almost always made things right by their clients, by their customers. I believe they'll probably do it again. Uh, they usually always add more value than you're expecting. Um, and it seems like a lot of the developers of Rack extensions also share that same ethos. So I'm cautiously optimistic that Reason 9.2 is going to add a new feature set, but I do have some concerns about how it's going to affect the rest of the Reason community. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up uh, or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And leave a comment, subscribe, tell me what I could do better, what you'd like to learn more about. I'm really interested in making videos that solve your problems. So give me a shout. Thanks.